Hi, through this video message, the viewers can review themselves to know if they are a halfway Christian or a true Christian. Let me ask you, what does forgiveness of sins really mean? Yes, as Christians, we are blessed as Jesus died for our sins and so we have forgiveness for all of our sins. As it is written in the letter to Paul to the Colossians chapter 1 verses 13 and 14 and I quote, He has delivered us from the dominion of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. It is also written in the first letter of John, the famous verse, I quote, If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Well, the same Jesus Christ, the Most High, true God, has revealed the real meaning of forgiveness in his testimony through the two witnesses who are Petrus Romanus and Mary Romanus. Jesus said, and I quote, Forgiveness is there for those who willingly and knowingly desire to change. And so, because you have the desire within you, I will forgive you, and I do forgive you. This was said to the two witnesses. Jesus continued, but there are those who seek my forgiveness out of routine and not from the heart at all. They seek the reward of going to heaven without doing their part, without doing what is necessary to get there. These people I call halfway Christians or middle-minded, for they seek my forgiveness, which is half of the process of confession, but they choose not to change and often make resolutions to commit the same sin again. This happens all too often. And so, confession is only open to those who seek me in the priest, who seek me to forgive them, who seek me from their hearts. I will not loosen the binding of sin upon the soul who seeks to be forgiven just out of routine. Confession is not simply a routine, but it is a way that man's heart can be reunited with his maker. Confession is suing a broken relationship. If you kept telling someone you were sorry over and over again and continue to repeat the same sin, the same mistake, how many times would they forgive you for they are only human? Maybe once, twice, three times. But I will forgive you as long as you continually seek to overcome the sin you are asking forgiveness for. Doesn't that make sense, my children? I laid out these laws to help loosen the burden of man's sins. But the church has rejected me as an institution and has brought about much pain and suffering in souls by refusing to help them out of their sins by enabling them to commit more and grievous. The church has failed in so many ways as an institution. And so now Jesus rightfully has left all the churches in these times and is now fully manifesting in these times through his words in the testimony. Jesus continued, But I am with my elect. I am with all of my chosen ones. I am with all of those who acknowledge me as Lord of their life, who have devotion to my sovereign heart. I will succeed where the church has failed in bringing them together as one flock with one shepherd. Behold, I am coming. I am coming soon. Make ready your hearts to receive me. End quote. And so, if you want to make ready and be prepared before the bridegroom arrives, then visit testimonyofthetwowitnesses.com 
repent wholeheartedly and contact Pope Peter the Last, Petrus Romanus, in his email ID and become a member of the Faithful Remnant Church and be a true Christian. Your only hope of forgiveness of your sins is if you get back your soul along with your free will.